in example four, we start looking at some word problems. So here's uh, actually star one. First question, there's a mistake made in the solution on purpose. Um, as with all star questions, please work through it yourself and try to figure out what the mistake is. The simple interest on an investment is directly proportional to the amount of the investment. So there's two quantities here, the simple interest and the amount of the investment itself. For instance, an investment of $2,500 will earn $187.50 after one year. Find a mathematical model that gives the interest I after one year in terms of the amount invested P. So in this case, we don't have to label our variables because we're given what the unknowns represent. We're told that the mathematical model gives us that the interest is I and the amount invested is the letter P. So we're told those two variables, we have to use them. We cannot use X and Y here because we're given what the variables need to be. So we start with our equation I equals A times P because we're told that there is direct proportionality or direct variation. And we just plug in the numbers where they go. So I we know is 187.50. A is the constant of variation. We don't know what that is. In fact, that's what we're looking for. So we multiply that by 2,500, which is the amount that was invested. Solving for A, we can divide 185, I'm sorry, 187.50 by 2,500, like so. And if you plug this into your machine, you get A equals 0.75. The question asked us specifically to find a model. So we cannot stop here because this is not the model. This is just the constant of variation. The model is the equation with the constant plugged in. So I equals 0.75 P is our model. So again, star one, please make sure that you read this carefully and you identify the mistake wherever there is one. Let's look at example five. Hooke's law for an elastic spring, this is a very commonly taught uh, law of physics in, well, physics courses. Uh, it, and it's usually talking about a spring that uh, can be pulled apart, and then there's some spring factor that brings it back together uh, based on the amount of force that's used. It's also a great teaching tool for harmonic motion. So if you decide to take physics or maybe AP calculus, uh, that's where you're gonna see this a lot more. So we have uh, an elastic spring, and according to Hooke's law, the distance a spring stretches is directly proportional to the force applied. And hopefully that makes sense. If you apply more force to a spring, the, the, the wider you're gonna be able to stretch it. Whereas if you apply a very small amount of force, you're not going to be able to stretch it nearly as much. So here we're told if the force of 150 newtons, newtons is a unit of force. So just like meters is a unit of distance, feet is a unit of distance, minutes is a, is a unit of time, newtons is the unit, or newton is the unit of force. So if we apply 150 newtons, we can stretch a certain spring by eight centimeters. The question is asking, how much will a force of 400 newtons stretch the spring by? So before we even get into this, I, I want you to pause the video and think about whether it would be more force, or sorry, more distance or less distance. Hopefully you've had a chance to think about it and, and directly uh, or direct variation actually gives us the hint here. Direct variation means that both, uh, if the force goes up, the how much the spring stretches will go up as well because uh, the more the force applied, the greater it stretches. That's what the question tells us. Here, we are not given variables like we were in example four. So here is where we have to label our own variables and make sure that we address the problem in context. So let's say we let our distance be lowercase d and the force be capital F. I, I'm borrowing these variables from physics. Uh, this is what your physics teacher will use in physics class as well. So we know that the distance that the, uh, the spring stretches is directly proportional to the force applied. So we know that D is going to be equal to A, the constant of proportionality or the constant of variation times the force. Eight centimeters is caused by 150 newtons of force. So if we want to solve for A, we just divide the 150 over to the other side. 
And that gives us a equals eight over 150. So once we've found our constant of variation, we can write down our model. The model is simply the equation with the constant plugged in. So the model is d equals eight over 150 f. Now there's an additional unknown that we need to find. We're told that, hey, if the force is 400, how much will the stretch, uh, how much will the spring experience as a stretch? So if we know that the force is 400 newtons, we can plug that in here for F and solve for D. So D will be eight over 150 times 400. And if we simplify this using our machines, we get 21.33333 repeating centimeters. So what this tells us, and this sentence at the end is going to be necessary for you to write, for any contextual problems, the answer must be given in context. The spring will stretch by 21.3 centimeters. Now you can write 21.3 repeating if you like, uh, but typically you want to address repeating values if there are any. We'll see you in the next video.